Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make my uh, whirlwind traps in hybrid. Um, sorry if it's a little hard to hear me. Um, I'm going to try to speak up a little bit. Uh, first things first, let's go here. Uh, weapons, chaos, and fury. Why chaos and fury? Look at fury. We got ignore target defense, incredible increase attack speed 4%, deadly strike 33%. These claws come equipped with 3 LS. Lightning Sentry, 3 to Mind Blast, 3 to Venom. Uh, you want to get type of claw like that. Why Chaos adds 1 to Whirlwind. Uh, these particular claws also add 3 to Venom, 3 to Mind Blast, 3 to Lightning Sentry. Check out the increased attack speed on that as well. Um, better increased attack speed means faster trap laying ability. Keep that in mind. More increased attack speed equals more traps. Um, let's see, I got on Enigma, just like any other class out there, I like to teleport around. Um, lots of strength added, damage reduced on top of that. Um, gloves, trains, like again, lots of people use them. Faster cast rate for teleporting around when I use Venom. Um, that 25% skill damage will help out a little bit. Uh, cold resist is nice as well. Um, let's see, boots, got on Trex. Faster run walk, faster hit recovery, strength, vitality, with that poison resist as well, 70%. Uh, let's see, we got rings. I put on one Raven Frost. Uh, why? 245 attack rating, 20 dexterity, cannot be frozen. Um, mainly those are the three things you want to look for. Uh, let's see, ring. Got on a faster pass rate ring that adds to strength and dexterity. Also has a nice resist. Um, you want to try and pick up a ring like that. Uh, one Raven Frost is good, but try your best to get a good fast cast rate ring uh, for teleporting around. Um, belt, we got on uh, Rack Mid Mesh. Uh, I call it the Spider Belt. Fly, for one, plus one all skills, faster cast rate. Uh, those are the two main things. Amulets, um, you want one to add plus two to your uh, skills. Faster cast rate, mine has strength and dexterity and resist. This is a good fucking amulet right here. Um, I choose, lots of people, you know, they, they say use like a COA, that's too high of a strength. Shaco, I mean, you can use a Shaco if you're poor, but I would highly recommend getting a Sierra circlet, whatever you want to call it, like this. Adds to the skills, 20 faster cast rate. Adds to strength and dexterity, and adds nice uh, resistances. Now you want to try to pick up weapons like your circlet and the ring, so that have strength and dexterity, just so you don't have to put it into your stats later. Now I've made it so I can put every single point into vitality. I put nothing into strength, and I put nothing into dexterity. Why? Because Amulet, Cirque, Rings, got my Torch, Annie, all adds to Strength and Dexterity, which makes it so I can wear Enigma and, you know, your boots and all that. Alright, so, stats pretty much, you want Vitality as much as possible. I have 2,500 base life right now, no points in energy, uh, enough to wear your strength, uh, enough strength to wear your gear, same with your dexterity, but I mean, try to put as less points as possible into these two, and as most into this. Um, let's go on with your skill tree. Alright, now with my build, you can do stuff a little bit different. I like to focus a lot on traps, because that is the most uh, part of this build. It does most of your damage. Um, you want to max out Shockweb, Charge Bolt Sentry, Lightning Sentry, and Death Sentry. Okay, these. Then, Lightning Sentry, as you all know, is going to be your main skill. Um, as for your Shadow Discipline, you want to... Now, you can, if you want, you can, you know, have your Shadow Master and stuff. But, I mean, I chose not to because that saves you one, two, three, four skill points that you can put into Venom. 
Um, I put my extra skill points into Venom, uh, mainly because of that extra damage, you know, it gives you a little bit more ink. Uh, weapon block is nice, you've got dual wheel claw, you can go ahead and uh, uh, try to get that at least level 20-ish if you can. Uh, then after, anything after that, you know, you want a couple points in the fade, but the rest goes into Venom. Um, weapon block is nice, it'll block, melee attacks, it'll block, lightning bolts, it'll block fireballs. I mean, it blocks a lot of things you honestly did not think it would block. Um, fade is nice, adds to resistances. Also, with every skill level, it adds one damage reduce percentage. So like this would be minus 18 damage reduced. Does that make sense? Martial arts, nothing. Don't put anything. Um, so this is this is pretty much my build. Let me tell you. Let me show you what you can do. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention your switch. You want your bo spirit common sense right there. Okay. So you got a bo a little bit. Put on your shade. Put on your venom. Let's see what she's packing right now. She's packing uh, 22, uh, 2242, 1563 for our uh, whirlwind ability, uh, lightning century. We are at 11.5k. This is 11k. Um, this is my uh, resistance is all maxed. Um, Resistance is important, especially when you're fighting, you know, like sorcerers and fist of heaven people. Um, this is pretty much everything you possibly need to know. Um, some people like to have Bramble instead of Enigma. Bramble is more of a melee type of armor for uh, barbarians and smiters and stuff like that. Um, mainly, honestly, I would much rather use Enigma. Um, I mean, that, that's just that's just my preference. Um, let me go ahead and show you what she can do. Um, Ask crash to duel. Let's see if he'll do it. He might not do it because, uh, yeah, he'll, he's going to try. I mean, he, keep in mind, he's low level, so I mean, I just wanted to show you, like, how she can, uh, how she can do duel and stuff. Alright, so he's ready to go. Sort of teleport around, lay some traps. Um, see Crash, this guy right here, he is a, um, what they call a Libby. Um, like as you can see, you know, you just sort of teleport around the person. Um, generally, you know, like pretend that guy's right over here, you know, you, you'll, you'll want to catch traps pretty close to off screen. And have them circle around you, then you sort of go towards your traps, mind blast a little bit if they get close, and then whirlwind stop. That's what I tend to like to do. Um, okay, so thank you Crash for the demonstration. Um, that's about end of my video. Thanks for watching, comments. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I can pretty much answer anything about it since by far my best build. Uh, if you want to duel, you know, Naughty Traps right there. Player name, account name bballer171. Hit me up. Uh, I consider myself the best sin in the West. So, I mean, I haven't, I haven't lost to another sin out there with this build. So, yeah, let me know. Um, thanks for watching.